throughout the multimeter break, you'll be asked to compare voltages, currents, resistors, and so on. Now, let us consider a case where two voltage readings have been taken. We see on this case, there's a reading of 9.55 volts. On that one, the reading is 9.57 volts. Are they the same? Are they not? Well, you know that you can only answer that question when you've completed the measurement. Remember, this is a reading. The measurement includes the uncertainty analysis. So we do an analysis of that, and we find that that uncertainty is perhaps not. Those uncertainties will be very similar. Now we can answer the question, are these two the same? Well, it's true that the readings are different, but the result of the measurement is not. This measurement agrees with that measurement within experimental uncertainty. What that means is that within an uncertainty like that, it's not possible for us to tell with these instruments whether this voltage is different from that one. They agree with inexperimental uncertainty. The implication of that, of course, is this. If you have a situation where you have two measurements that agree with inexperimental uncertainty and you want to work out whether there really is a difference between these two, you have to conduct a different experiment. You have to conduct an experiment that has a smaller uncertainty which allows you to tell whether they do or do not agree. Thank you.